In the previous session, we saw what a symmetric matrix is. A square matrix A is symmetric if A transpose is equal to A. In this session, we will look at what a skew symmetric matrix is. The definition goes like this. A square matrix A is skew symmetric if A transpose is equal to negative A. Let me repeat. A square matrix is skew symmetric if its transpose is equal to its negative. A simple example would definitely help us understand better. Is this matrix A skew symmetric? So we will find A transpose first and then negative of A. If they are equal, then we can say that matrix A is skew symmetric. Let's find A transpose first. The first row becomes the first column. 1, 4 and the second row becomes the second column. 0, minus 1. This is A transpose. And what about negative A? To find the negative of a matrix, we negate each of its elements. 1 will be minus 1, 4 will become minus 4, negative of 0 is 0 and negative of minus 1 is 1. Are these two matrices equal? For two matrices to be equal, their orders have to be equal and their corresponding elements also have to be equal. The orders of A transpose and negative A are equal. But are the corresponding elements equal? 1 is not equal to minus 1. Even if one set of corresponding elements are not equal, we can say that the matrices are not equal. We don't need to check the rest. So A transpose and negative A are not equal. And hence, matrix A is not skew symmetric. This tells us something interesting. I want you to focus on the diagonal elements of A. By diagonal, I mean the leading diagonal. Notice that the diagonal elements do not change for the transpose. 1 and minus 1, 1 and minus 1. And for negative A, just like the other elements, the elements in the diagonal are also negated. And what is the condition for a matrix to be askew symmetrical? It says that A transpose should be equal to negative A. Which means all corresponding elements must be equal. Can the diagonal elements of these two matrices ever be equal? Let's say the diagonal elements of a matrix were 2 and 4. For A transpose, the diagonal elements would be 2 and 4. And for negative A, the diagonal elements would be minus 2 and minus 4. Not equal. So if the diagonal elements are non-zero, the matrix can never be a skew symmetric. Let's zoom out and write the condition. For the matrix to be skew symmetric, the diagonal elements have to be zero. If the diagonal elements are non-zero, the matrix can never be skew symmetric. Look at matrix B. Is it skew symmetric? It is a square matrix and the leading diagonal elements are also zero. So it may be skew symmetric. So let's find B transpose and negative B. Pause the video and try to find each. Okay, B transpose first. The first row will become the first column. 0, 2 and the second row will become the second column. Minus 2, 0. And for minus B, we negate each element. Negative of 0 is 0. Negative of 2 is minus 2. Negative of minus 2 is 2 and negative of 0 is 0. Are these two matrices equal? Yes, the order as well as the corresponding elements are equal. So B is a skew symmetric matrix. What about matrix C? Is it skew symmetric? It is a square matrix and its leading diagonal elements are 0. So it may be a skew symmetric matrix. We find C transpose first. The first row is written as the first column and the second row is written as the second column. This is C transpose. And what about negative C? Each element when negated gives us this. The negative of 0 is 0, negative of 1 is minus 1, negative of 4 is minus 4 and the negative of 0 is 0. 
Clearly, these two matrices are not equal. Matrix C is not skew symmetric.